Life in prison without parole. That's the sentence handed down by a Michigan judge this afternoon, just a short time ago, for the teenager who opened fire at Oxford High School. The suspect killed four students, wounded several others at the school two years ago. The four students who died are Tate Muir, Hannah St. Juliana, Madison Baldwin, and Justin Schilling. Seven others inside the school were injured. Today we also heard from, from, from some of the students who were in the school when the shooting happened who say their lives are forever changed. The judge rejected pleas for a shorter sentence and made sure he will not get a chance for parole. More than 20 people gave victim impact statements. Some wore shirts honoring the fallen students. Today we also heard from students who were in the building during the school shooting, during the shooting at the school. Before my fifth hour class, me and my dear friend Riley Franz and I were standing in the hallway socializing with our peers. And all of a sudden I thought a balloon popped. I turned and I fell right to the ground. I remember hearing screams. I saw running, but I couldn't run. I was already down. I remember hearing Mr. Wolf make an announcement. I had never heard the halls become silent so fast in my life. I felt absolutely hopeless because I could barely function in my day-to-day -day life. Oxford shooting survivors getting emotional during the sentencing and their impact statements. We also heard from the sister of Hannah St. Juliana who says she's living her worst nightmare. Life sentences for teenagers are very rare in Michigan since the U.S. Supreme Court and the state's highest court said violent acts of minors must be viewed differently than the crimes of adults. But the Oakland County prosecutor said a no parole term fits Ethan Crumbly's case.